The state's attorney strikes again. Hey guys, so if you saw my video from Thursday night, you would know that the LaSalle County State's Attorney's Office had decided to fire me from, um, that's my term, uh, from being their victim in their office and claim they were no longer seeking restitution and that I didn't need to turn in the, that paperwork um, because they didn't need it anymore, allegedly. Well, last night on Christmas Eve, uh, I was very not happy to find this in my mailbox. Now, um, I will later post the uh, redacted uh, actual sheet so you guys can see it. But unfortunately, these people have gone so low, so low that they are claiming that I don't own my house at all. I don't have any rights to my home. And that these two random people, not associated with, with my house whatsoever, um, are who are now the victims and they're pursuing criminal action against uh, against this person, but on behalf of two people that do not own my house and have no anything to do with my home. All right, so essentially what it reads is this, and I will be trying to leave out the uh, specifics because I do not have it redacted yet on here. <laughs> this is crazy, okay? And keep in mind, guys, these guys are about 20 feet from the recorder's office, so they got the deeds to the houses, all that stuff right there. And, you know, they, I, 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 just, I am flabbergasted. <laughs> I called them madder than a hornet. Okay, so, says, we have received your numerous calls to our office regarding criminal damage to property report made by, made by Peru Police Department. That gives it, uh, the case number, um, in which you are listed as the victim of prosecution or for prosecution purposes by Peru police. After review of this report, it is our understanding that the property that was damaged was in fact owned by the property managers. Keep in mind, the only property manager is me. I don't know who these people are. I do believe at one point in life they may have owned or lived in my home. Um, I've been here for several years since my oldest daughter was not even a toddler yet, um, among other things. All right, and then it names them, and we'll call them Mr. Donovan and Miss Abacus. It's actually A-C-U-N-C-I-U-S, but I keep referring to it as Abacus, so we're just going to roll with that. Um, in light of that fact, we will be proceeding with Mr. Donovan and Miss Abacus as the victims in this matter. Keep in mind, my house, me. Uh, we believe we will be more successful in prosecuting Mr. Blank um, with Mr. Donovan and Miss Abacus as the named victims because, according to our records, you failed to appear at a trial in August of 2022. If you guys saw my last video, I, I talked about that. Um, in a previous case against Mr. Same Person. Um, your refusal to appear for the trial resulted in dismissal of the case. Um, if you guys recall, they actually claimed that I was harassing them when I repeatedly asked to be trial prep because I had to testify. All right, and there was a lot of reasons why I absolutely needed to be trial prepped on top of just the basic reason of me being somebody testifying, um, right? A witness, victim, whatever you want to call it. Um, anyway, so, so yes, I didn't show. And because they refused to do that, and they also um, threatened me with, with harassment, which is obviously a criminal charge if they were to try that. Um, and your various messages left to members of our office based on our prior contact with you we are aware of your claims that our office has been violating your victim's rights. For your convenience, we have attached some pages of the Crime Victims Bill of Rights that apply to your situation. As you can see, under the Act, the crimes of telephone harassment and criminal damage to property, which should also include assault, uh, it was, that was also another one, uh, but they didn't, do not entitle you to Crime Victims' Rights. Our office makes every effort to make sure non-offending individuals 
involved in our cases are treated with dignity and respect. However, <laughs> your prior behavior and treatment of our staff will dictate how that is reciprocated back to you. You are represented by an attorney in the case in which you are charged with respect to any complaints about the Sheriff's Department. We would suggest that you receive advice from your private counsel. We will consider this matter closed. Sincerely, Joe Navarro. Joe Navarro. Um, <laughs> I swiftly, not only did I call these uh, goofballs, at, at the number you can find right here. Not sure how well you guys can see it, but anyway, I'll, I'll like I said, I'll be posting this. Um, and I will also give their information down below. Um, because this, I don't understand how on earth <laughs> they believe these two random people have anything to do with my home. Um, I immediately, after leaving them a, a angry voicemail demanding that they figure out what the hell the problem is, um, right after that, I called the Peru Police Department, uh, kind of gave them my spiel, whatever, and gave them the proper paperwork to show, show that these people uh, don't pay taxes, don't pay, don't pay nothing on my home. They don't pay the mortgage. There is no mortgage anymore. Um, they don't pay anything on my home. Um, they are not on my home. They are nothing to do with it whatsoever. Actually, uh, my my home was owned by a bank before before um, it it was in bankruptcy before I got it. Um, anyway, and that was like I said, my older daughter, who's now eight, uh, was still in diapers. <laughs> so anyway, you just can't make this up. I swear to God. And also, yeah, I told you guys that um, this person had court very, very soon. Well, they had court between the day I posted that Thursday and today. Uh, they did have court. Um, and I firmly believe that the only reason they did this in the fashion they did, um, where they mailed it to my house and refused to, to tell me what the issue was, was because they were intentionally doing this. You can't tell me that, that an office, the, the state's attorney's office, a bunch of lawyers found after further review that these two random people are are property managers and the owners of my home. Um I I just cannot believe it. Uh anyway, I will absolutely be posting the 8154348340 number for Mr. Joe Navarro's office. I'll also put his email in there. Um just so anybody, if they have further issues going forward, I can address this as to why people are being taunted and, and harassed. I firmly believe that this was intentional. Um, when they're just trying to, trying to get their business done. Joe Navarro was messing with me before I was ever kidnapped. Before I was ever kidnapped. And like I told them numerous times, uh, whether or not they think my situation meets their crime victims' rights, I'm pretty sure the majority of those meets our basic rights that we have, that we reserve for our government not to harass us, intimidate us, put us in fear. Like, I've been threatened with arrest and surrounded when I had a broken foot when I was in, in that same building trying to do business. Actually, in the very recorder's office right after I left the state's attorney's office, they would have the paperwork showing who the deed of the house goes to, things like that. Um, even, even after I tried to dig around and make it make sense, there was nothing that made sense. Those people have had nothing to do with how, this house in many years. And they certainly have no ownership or management rights, period, at all. Zero. Zero. And keep in mind, they, they sent all this and they were treating me very poorly just after I turned in Donna for, and Jim and them for, for what they were doing to me when I was trying to turn in my EOP. Um, so that's very unfortunate. Like I said, though, I will be posting the redacted version. Um, quite frankly, I mean, it's public record. If y'all want to uh, be too nosy, then go for it. But I'm not going to post that. Anyway, um, again, Joe Navarro, I am, I am thoroughly wondering what the hell is the problem here. 
I know, I know dang well, lawyers that went to school for one too many years. Um, I know you guys are not this stupid. <laughs> like, you can't be, can you? I don't know. Um, either way, but I do fully believe you are this malicious. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Tell your friends. Bye.